And she's come along, and I, I thought she could provide you with some very useful background. She's got Andrew over to Joe now. He'll talk for just a few minutes. And perhaps half a million people, um, or a quarter of those potentially affected, have received some sort of aid. That wouldn't be a complete package of aid. That might be a mosquito net, it might be a jerry can, it might be a, a serving of rice. But that's the, the figure we, we were using up to yesterday anyway of the, the amount of people that have been served with some sort of aid. Clearly there's a lot of people who aren't being reached. Um, there are some areas that um, are still in, inaccessible um, and we are doing our best to get information. The, the, the most pressing need is, is shelter. Once people are in, in some sort of safe shelter uh, where they can be based, where they can be counted, where they can be served, where they can receive health, um, health services, um, that is the most important thing. And with the weather worsening, um, rain, wet, water can be um, your best friend or your worst enemy. And this, this stage, it's it looking like it's going to be people's worst enemy. Is, is any of that, do you, do you believe that, that it's all voluntary movement or is there any forced movement? That's uh, the sort of shelters people are building for themselves I saw them, they're made of, of bamboo and, and palm leaves. Um, you could almost blow them over yourself. Um, and you might get six or eight people in a, in a couple of square meters area. Um, if, if 12 centimeters of water falls and stays there, they're gonna be flooded, flooded out and they're gonna have to move on again. You know, we want to do this in a collaborative, cooperative way with the authorities in, in uh, Burma and with the strong uh, support of Thailand and the other neighbors. In fact, we want to see them play the leading role. But what we've equally made clear is uh, a lot of lives are at risk. Hundreds of thousands of lives probably are at risk uh, in Burma. And in that sense, the international community cannot take no for an answer. Uh, aid must reach these victims. And, and I think the best way to resolve this, and this is what we're pressing for, is a full assessment. And we're very pleased that an ASEAN assessment team is getting into the country. And you know, I suspect it will 